Hey guys, I just, um, I think I'm waking up the dog here, but I thought that Kane looked cuter than me after that surgery today. But I just wanted to mention to you, um, uh, I was thinking today about that Notre Dame fire, about the cathedral, and I saw a couple of people had said that it had been, you know, almost on like a, almost an exact replica of that from iPet Goat. And, uh, and a couple of our brothers and sisters had put that out in a video too. And, um, you know, but I thought about the Bible verse where it said blood and fire and vapor of smoke because, you know, they were talking about the sheep sacrifice being done um, over in Jerusalem for the Passover week and um, or celebration. And so blood definitely from the sacrifice and and fire from the, the Notre Dame and, and obviously the pillar of smoke that came up from it. And then right after that, I had heard that there was some uh, information about the um and I and I know I may be saying this wrong but the uh Al Aqsa mosque I believe is what it's pronounced at the dome of the rock over in Jerusalem so it's the big mosque with the golden dome was also caught on fire today and a couple of different videos were out on that Newsweek did an article on it um, stating that there had been, I believe they said some children playing nearby and accidentally they had caught it on fire and that it had, um, caught on fire. One of the prayer rooms that, um, uh, of Solomon, I think is what they called it. And, uh, but they, they had gotten it put out. Um, I think it did some damage obviously to some inner rooms, but I'm not sure about much else because I just now found out about that. But I thought, goodness, you know, they they had a couple of different videos of it with the pillar of smoke coming up from that. And I thought, OK, blood, fire, vapor, smoke all in one day. I think the Lord's speaking ra loudly, guys. I think it's getting closer and closer together like birth pains. And um, and when you see them this close, that's that's towards the end, guys. That's not you know, having a contraction every 20 minutes or even every five minutes. I mean, in my opinion, you know, um, something significant is not happening like we used to hear about, you know, every couple of months or every couple of weeks. And then it was every couple of days. And now it's three and four times a day. I mean, it's not every day, guys, that a 950 plus year old uh, cathedral, that's one of the main destinations, I suppose, in Europe that people go to to pay um, you know, attention to and, and as a, as a destination burns down like that with the historical value that it has. I mean, like, you know, there was even a, a classic novel written about it, the hunchback of Notre Dame and, uh, or Notre Dame, as you call it over in France, I believe. So I've never been to Paris. I've been down to the, the Southern part, like in the Mediterranean there. So more like around, um, Nice and, and, uh, that area, but, Guys, this is crazy. So I just thought I'd report it. I know I'm in here recouping from my from my surgery, but I wanted to say something about it to you guys before I went to sleep tonight and um and let you all see the doggies. And uh Kane's so beautiful and he's <laughs> he's gonna fall asleep with his little harness on. That's because mama's lazy tonight. But anyway, guys, um I love you all and I'm sure we'll talk real soon.